In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of Scan2Go, a mobile file cabinet solution. So what is Scan2Go? It's a combination of technologies from SciGen, Microsoft, and Caligo combined to give users remote or mobile document access while either offline or online. So why would you want to take your paper documents with you? Everybody knows that paper is painful. We've all lived in the file room or tried to access file folders. Uh, there's very limited access in most corporations. You either have to go to the file room and make a copy, take file folders with you. If files are stored at corporate, you've actually got to make a phone call and have somebody fax or scan documents to your email. So there can be some serious time delays when you're trying to access critical uh, corporate records or you need to look at some files at a remote site. So scan and go combines three technologies. SciGen SciCapture is the first piece. It's a scan and capture on-ramp that can be used to scan and post image files to the Microsoft SharePoint platform. There's a key focus on automation, standardization, and efficiency in scanning and processing paper files. Microsoft SharePoint is the hub for this solution, and it's a web-based repository that uh, we can scan documents to, and it really becomes a digital file cabinet that can serve these files uh, over the internet to Caligo's briefcase. So Caligo actually enables your iPad to become a mobile file cabinet. You can synchronize, store, and search scan files, and you've also got the ability once you sync to, to have offline access to these scan document libraries. So what it provides is total mobile access. Take your files, scan them with SciCapture, route them into Microsoft SharePoint in a nice, standardized, efficient manner, and then access them through the briefcase at a remote site or at a site that doesn't have mobile access capabilities. So now that we've looked at all the different components, let's see Scan2Go in action. The first piece of Scan2Go is taking your file cabinets, removing the paper, and digitizing them. Or if you've got pre-scanned documents on a network, you can use SciCapture to process those, extract data, and route intelligently into a SharePoint site, library, and folder structure. So let's take a quick, quick look at how SciCapture works. I'll go ahead and process some engineering drawings. We'll go ahead and click on Capture. And in my first example, I'm going to give you an overview of how we can scan assessor parcel documents bring them into SharePoint in a standardized, efficient manner. So in this particular example, I'll go ahead and go to a, um, uh, a file folder that's got uh, a pre-existing set of parcel maps. We'll go ahead and kick off the batch import process. And when we do that, we're going to bring in the documents. You can see the large format parcel documents will actually come into the product. And I'm going ahead and I'm harvesting these documents. We could also integrate with an ISIS or Twain scanner, uh, but most large format scanners will actually dump these into a directory that we can pick up and process. So now if I move through SciCapture, I'm going to use the advanced data extraction feature to go ahead and search for and find the parcel number pattern on the document. It does occur in a relatively uh, frequent place up in the left-hand corner. But I'm going to go ahead and extract that data, automatically pop into our quality assurance view so I can review to make sure all the information is correct. And you can see I've auto extracted each of the parcel numbers, the four digit parcel and then sub parcel. And when I'm done, I can click, click the close batch button. It'll make these searchable, process, and route them into SharePoint. Now I'm going to keep this window up to just give you a quick idea of how this works. So if I come into SharePoint, with SciCapture, I went ahead and, and told the product, when you migrate into SharePoint, I want you to go into the Assessors Library, and I want you to create a subfolder in the library based on the parcel number. And you can see we took the first four digits and auto-created that folder. If it's not there, we'll create it. If it is, we just route documents into it. Now within that folder, I've also got custom naming. And you can see that I've migrated and named the PDF file 
based on the, on the full parcel number. Okay, and I've also got some information that I've thrown in uh, to a parcel number column, so now I can do column-based searching as well. Now note, these are full-text searchable PDFs, so not only can I search by the name or the parcel number, but I've also got full-text capability as well. So this is one quick example of routing documents, and I'll show you that, uh, show you the end result here in a minute. Let's go ahead and navigate out here and I'll show you another example of how you can use Site Capture to bring in uh, bring in documents. Now, in this particular example, let's say that you go into um, an engineering firm and you've got um, pre-scanned documents, and we'll go ahead and navigate to a particular directory here. And in this example, you can see that I've got a Bexar and a Burleson project folder on my network. Now the goal is to harvest these, intelligently extract data, and then route into SharePoint so that I can access them with Caligo's briefcase out in the field. Now in this example, when I kick off my batch, I'm actually going to import these documents. I'm going to auto-populate SharePoint column information with folder information as well as the file name. So you can see as I'm importing these documents, I'm mapping the folder name into the project, what will be the project column in SharePoint. And I'm also bringing in the description from the file name. So now if I go through my different files, automatically I've got them tagged with metadata that I'll throw into SharePoint. Okay, and I can do the same thing for the Burleson project. Kick this off and you can see now my project is Burleson. I can go through, I can process these and route them into, uh, into SharePoint as searchable PDFs. All right, so now that I've processed these and I've routed both the assessor documents and the engineering drawings into SharePoint, you can see my engineering drawings, I use the same type of uh, item. I created a project subfolder. Note, I could create a project library as well. Uh, it's very flexible with how we build that, that SharePoint structure. And you can see I also custom named all these PDFs so they actually make sense. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out of these, and now we'll show you the end result that a user out in the field can access via Caligo briefcase. Now that we've seen the process of digitizing the paper files or importing the images and putting them into SharePoint, I've now got accessible my document library with my scanned documents. The only step now is to be out in the field and actually use your iPad for access. This is where the Caligo briefcase application comes into play. So in this particular example, we'll go ahead and open Caligo on our iPad, and we've went ahead and already synchronized our engineering drawings to the device. So now I've got full access to the SharePoint library offline. I can scroll through my documents. I can pick and choose my drawings or a document. I can zoom in and zoom out and have access to them. I can do research, look through these different files. If I go back, I've got the ability to navigate into different folder structures. Scroll down, and not only in this example for engineering could I have engineering drawings, I can also have quantities, spec sheets, different bits of documentation, photographs that I can synchronize from that library. Okay? I even have search capability. So let's say I was looking for my driveway drawings or driveway documents. I can go ahead and do a search. It brings up my driveway detail drawing. I can zoom in, zoom out, and utilize that drawing through the search capabilities of the briefcase. Now in this example, I've got multiple SharePoint sites and libraries. I'm going to navigate back to my assessor drawings, and you can see I've got my parcel number folder. So as a worker, I can go in and synchronize this library when I know I'm going out to a particular parcel, examine all the sub-parcels, do my job out in the field with this mobile file cabinet that is Caligo Briefcase. Okay. So that's the end of this demonstration. If you have any questions or want more information on the solution, shoot a note to sales at SciGen.com, or you can dial 949-916-7700, extension 230, to get in touch with us and gather some more info. Thanks for your time.